Oh, that is not the right stream screen. Um, <laughs> oopsies. Good afternoon, evening, or morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Um, sorry for being very late. Uh, I was having microphone issues, which was kind of a surprise given the fact that my microphone is quite new. Um, thus, I did end up solving it, and that kind of explained why it was an issue. Everything just defaulted to a different uh, a different input for some reason, but we're here. We're doing well. Um, yeah, hope you're all doing fantastic, having a great day, and I uh, hope you're ready to see me drink an absolute disgusting amount of alcohol, because I don't tend to do well in this challenge. <laughs> I uh, I try my best, but I don't know uh, I don't know if we'll prevail. I yet again have made the habit of not doing near as much research as I should have. So yeah, that's uh, that's on me. It's definitely on me. But it uh, yeah should be interesting today. We have a little bit of training to do. Um, Sorry, just one sec here. Just got to fix this layout here. Uh, got a little bit of training to do today. Uh, not too, too much, but once we get that done, uh, we can go straight to Flannery, and I think we're going to do pretty all right. I'm hoping so. And yeah, I agree with you, Chizo. Hopefully it doesn't come down to that. Um, <laughs> welcome to the stream. Happy to see you. How's your day going so far? Anything interesting going on? Oh jeez, I always I always forget to start recording. It's okay, at least we're early. At least we're early. Okay, well, I suppose I'll just get this to a screen where you're not constantly listening to the uh to the noise. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on, headset. Do your thing. Oh, it's the controllers that are dead. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that the music wasn't constantly playing in the background, because I imagine that's kind of obnoxious, but... Uh... Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about being a, a, a lot a bit late today. That... Uh... It was not the intention, but unfortunately that was the circumstance. And I just realized the game was muted anyway, so you couldn't hear it to begin with. Bet. Okay. Well, it's unmuted now, so once it is playing, you'll hear it. <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely intended on being on time, but uh, the microphone kind of got in the way a little bit. That said, I went to the store as promised yesterday after stream and I finally picked up something that uh, we've, been, we've been waiting on so in case we do end up wiping today remember uh, there, there's a clause in the rule set down below right there you can read it in the description and it describes essentially everything that happens when I fail or prevail one of which is if I wipe I have to chug a mickey if you're not from Canada, you might not uh, know that slang, but this is a Mickey. Just, um, just for reference. So, they're quite, uh, quite large, quite in charge. And if I lose today, then that's something we're going to have to ingest. So that's going to be a fun time. Otherwise, we've got our regular... Tequila. <laughs> and for my chase, I forgot to grab a cup, so we have a giant thing of cranberry juice, which I heavily fuck with. Uh, yeah, it does look like a bottle of maple syrup. It's really weird, honestly. It's um, peanut butter jelly flavored. I don't know. That sounds kind of disgusting to me. I'm not going to lie, but... Uh... It was so interesting, it was so intriguing that I felt as if I had, I had no choice but to just kind of make the jump and try it out. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's what y'all call a Mickey over there? Interesting. Interesting. I know what you're talking about, though. I can't think of, like, a brand off the, uh... Come on. Give a focus. I can't think of a brand off the bat, but, uh... I've definitely... Th those are, like... Are those... F no. Are they 40 ounces? I want to say those are 40 ounce bottles. Also, I'm going to turn the background blur off for this stream. Although it's going to look kind of gross, it's not going to blur out the controllers, which I've noticed it does a lot. And you'll see, like, you can't really read that in the blur shot, but when it's not blurred, it looks a hell of a lot better. A hell of a lot better. We got some Scatterbrain brand peanut butter breath and similar for people on DoorDash and try to myself was okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. That makes a little bit more more sense. I gotcha. That's just a name of it. I thought you were talking of like a classification, per se. Scatterbrain brand peanut butter breath. That is an interesting, uh, that is an interesting thing. I must oblige. So is it like, when you say... Sorry, I hear peanut butter breath and I think weed. Are you talking weed or is this like the... Is this a drink? <laughs> Speaking of 40s though, I saw 40 ounce Mike's Hard one time at a gas station like three years ago but didn't snap a picture. We actually have those here with... Um, Smirnoff Ice. You can get them. They're like... They're big. That's that's the point. You can get Coronas that are like three bottles in one, two. They're just a giant Corona for seven bucks Canadian. Oh, Jack. Always being way too sweet. You're the cute little guy. Welcome to the stream. Happy to see you. Hope you're doing well, dude. Um, no, some kind of whiskey. Okay, that makes sense. Makes sense. Mixed Heart Lemonade is so dangerous, same with Smirnoff. Yeah, those Smirnoff Ices are real dangerous. Not to mention, you get a disgusting hangover from them. If you drink way too many of them anyway. Yeah, normal balls is the way to go. Gotta be cold. <laughs> you know, a lot of people seem to think that Canada is, like, round the year freezing. But believe it or not, and this may be silly for me to say, but... Um, because it might go without saying, but we do get like 30 to 40 degree Celsius weather in the summer, depending on where you are. I know a couple summers ago, I have a Snapchat memory of me longboarding at like, it was like 830 in the evening and it was still 38 degrees. Uh, we just don't get good weather for very long, which is kind of ass, but beggars can't be choosers if I recall correctly. That actual seasons is, is true, but Jesus Christ, they're also very, very hostile seasons. They don't need to be near as obnoxious and intense as they do be. So, um, I am going to take this thing down. We know this. Um, hopefully not the whole bottle. That would, that would be less than ideal. But, uh... <laughs> I'm going to start pouring a shot here and then we can get right into training because we've kind of got to do that. Jack, I don't know if you saw, but this is our, uh, our Mickey for if we do wipe today, had to get prepared, but yeah, I, you know, I haven't played near enough harvest moon. I really should. I played it a bit when I was younger and that was about it. Let's pour this thing up. I almost poured that out the side. Holy fuck, that would have sucked. That would have been real bad. Oh, damn it. Our seasons get more and more out of line and whack each year. Every year, the highest temperature or lowest temperature, uh, or just snowing later in the year. We find that it's getting, like, universally hotter. 
and the winter like kind of tends to hardly exist it gets really cold for like a week or two and that's about it we just have a bunch of snow like it's still cold don't get me wrong but compared to we used to have winters where it was like minus 30 every single day um and now that's pretty pretty unusual honestly in game for no winter Oh, I'm game for no winter. Yeah, I feel that. I don't like winter either. But I also don't like global warming, so. Might as well try some of this out. I've been mixing this 50-50 with water, because frankly I want to save money on juice, and this shit's expensive. It's usually, as you can see, it's $7.08. $7 for a gallon of fucking juice. Wait, a gallon? Not even! It's three quarters of a gallon, or... Yeah, it's three quarters of a gallon. That's bullshit. Damn good though. Wow. Yeah, the seasons are definitely shifting. Like, being. I mean, yes and no. April was always where it kind of warmed up, but I guess March was pretty warm too for the most part. My stepbrother lived way up north, closer to the Canada border, and they always had like one to two feet of snow compared to our six inches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That, uh, that happens. I remember I, when I was a kid, I used to be able to build, um, I have pictures of it still. Uh, I used to be able to build like little igloo things on my lawn between my and, and my neighbor's houses. I was, so when I was like 13, I was roughly six foot tall. And I have a video of me and my other friend who is about the same height, standing full height inside of it. Which, I don't know why we trusted it. it. It was probably kind of a scary scary creation but we made like a little bed in it too i smoked cigarettes in there as a kid <laughs> uh it wasn't the smartest thing but i did it i'm gonna have to start giving us 23 or 25 hour days to make up for it i'm down with like a 25 hour day <laughs> and we're talking like how early spring came and how we are having an actual fall like last year we didn't get snow until yeah, that's true, that's true. It was like November... I think it was like November 4th here. Something like that. I wish I could, but we don't get enough snow nowadays. Like, I have a huge yard, uh, backyard specifically, uh, compared to what I used to have anyway. And I just didn't have enough snow to do something like that this year. It's kind of ass. I live in Canada. Like, shouldn't that be a given? But I guess not. So we do have the shot here. Um, how many of y'all think I should take it? Uh, and because I know that's a dumb question, I'm going to start getting ready to take it. <laughs> oh, I'll get the chase ready. I am kind of sick, so I find when I'm sick, alcohol kind of helps. As dumb as that sounds, kind of alleviates some symptoms. That I imagine there's some sort of science to it, but I'm not familiar. <laughs> We had like a week of snow this year. I don't think it hit until like February or March. Oh my god, seriously? That's super late compared to where, when we get it. We usually have a second spurt later, but seeing as it's almost mid-April, yeah, I doubt it. I don't think we'll get much snow again. I gotta get my, uh, gotta get my other, my summer car, my little sports car ready to pull out and, and drive for the summer. I haven't driven it in quite a while. We really don't need more when I was a kid. Uh, we'd make these huge forts out of the snow piles with beds in a kitchen. Yeah, literally. I I remember doing the same kind of shit. But you just can't do that anymore. I have a picture of me in the 8th grade standing beside a snowman we made in a 25 minute recess. And like I said, I was about 6 foot tall. Um, this thing was probably like 3 feet taller than me. I have my hand like up here and I just like barely can get my hand near the top of the head. But, uh, I'm gonna... Oh, what am I running over? Oh, for Fox Creek. How many fucking times can a guy run over a VR, ca VR cable? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna take this down uh, as much as I really don't want to. Uh, but I'm doing it for you guys. So, as I always say... 
if you're taking a shot with me or if you're having a beverage with me cheers if not lucky you watch me suffer just a secondary reminder i hate the taste of alcohol and alcohol makes me feel kind of funny so sacrifices but it's in the name of nuzlocks down the hatch Ew. I'm getting better at this. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, it's still disgusting. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing good about that. But huh, I'm doing a little better taking it down. Mm. Oh. That tastes like shit. Tastes like actual feces. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like I should take a double. Should we start the stream with another one? I'll let you guys decide. <clears throat> Since I started a little late, I mean, I kind of deserve it. I went to, I walked to school, I would have a shower. Oh, dude, walking outside with frozen hair is so weird. Having it with um, facial hair, too, is kind of sus, because, like, around the chin, it gets all, well, it gets icy everywhere, but when it's icy around the chin, your, like, face feels more stiff. It's really weird. So I could have another shot, or I could have a, a good old bag of the cannabis. Hmm... As the villager might say. Yeah, well. No, doing a bag will take way too long. Way too long. That's alright. I'm gonna, just for the sake of sakes. Two bags of the BIS. I feel like I should know. Oh, shit! I feel like I should know what the B.I.S. is. Oh, the cannabis. <laughs> I'm stupid. I will. Um, it just takes a minute for the thing to heat up. Which is kind of annoying. You know, for how intelligent I claim to be, I'm quite... I'm quite easy to fool. I'm quite gullible. Fucking two bags of the bis right after I said it, and then this guy's out here being fucking totally oblivious. Oh, what a guy, hey? So yeah, it's just uh, I'm just heating up now. It gets up to three hundred and ninety-three degrees. That's where I use it. So uh, yeah, that's gonna take a sec. Believe it or not. Um. I'm really considering taking another shot, but I don't want to. At the same time, you know, I'm kind of upset because this is for if I wipe, right? But I kind of want to drink it, like just on the side. I do have two more that I could drink as well. But I feel like the old peanut butter jelly one would be good for that. Also feel like it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but if I don't wipe, then... Oh, I see what you mean. I drink it and then don't wipe and I don't need it. Alright. I feel you. Holy shit, I've gotten like nine WhatsApp messages today. From just random bullshit scammers. Why do I even have WhatsApp? What the fuck am I doing with WhatsApp? Not much. I shit you not. You look at me, you're like, oh, maybe you used it for... No, not much. I didn't use it for shit. No, I actually... Um, I got it for one specific purpose, and it was when I was house-sitting for my parents when they went to Mexico, like, a year and a half ago, something like that. Um, and they didn't have international plans, so... They were talking on... Uh, 
talking on the old WhatsApp, which was really shitty. It didn't really work that well. Preemptively drink it and then make a fool move from being drunk and end up wiping. You know, it's kind of a mood. I mean, I can. I, I do also have, a, like, two more. They're not peanut butter jelly. I have one fruit punch and one lemonade. Um, but the point is, is I could do it, and we could just have another one if I do genuinely wipe. What do we, what do we think? Should we pull out the old PB&J for some fucking sips or what? I think I think that's not a bad idea. And then, like you said, Chizo, if uh, if I do do that and preemptively wipe, well, um, I guess I'll just I'll just insert the plug now. Um, if I ended up failing, here is the clip in the future saying, "Chizo, you were right. You got into the video. Good job." Why is it like seven dollars and a can of soup for a phone plan in Mexico? Because they don't actually absolutely rip off their customers like right here. Yeah, it's just specifically this part of Canada too that's really bad. You go to like fucking Saskatchewan, and they don't rip their customers off near as bad. Like I, my plan should not cost me fifty five bucks a month. Um on its own. I don't know. That's just ridiculous to me, I think. But your call, I'm loading up the morning starter now. The morning starter. I rock with that. What you loading? What you loading? And prices around the world are wild for all sorts of things. That's true. I mean, it, it's really about being in a good place to I mean, I don't know, be close to production, you'll get it cheaper. Like in Canada, I from what I've heard, beef is much cheaper than most other places. But, I mean, I've always known beef to be cheap. You get a pound for like five bucks. Some people get a gigabyte up and down for their internet in Thailand for like 15 bucks a month. All living expenses, you can probably get it with 500 months. Everything included. Jesus, yeah, I couldn't imagine. In order to, like, live, have a roof over my head, and pay all my bills with a little bit of extra spending, I spend about 2200 bucks a month. Canadian. 55, that's with 50 gigs of data. Jesus, I get 20. And no international calling. But I'm locked in because they gave me, like, 1500 bucks off of my S23 Ultra. Uh, I got less than a year, and then my plan's up, so... I would love to go down to Japan. Um, I, I really want to go there to vacation. The one thing that sucks is if I went and I lived there, I couldn't smoke weed. And I really like smoking weed. I'm just not willing to risk going into Japanese prison, you know? Um, they're pretty they're pretty harsh with their, their drug tolerances. Uh, in other words, they're not really there. More WhatsApp messages? Holy fuck. Crypto land, crypto land. What? I don't care about crypto. Crypto can suck a dick. I'm not stupid enough to invest in that. Not bad, Jack. Mine is like 80 a month. I got the top of the line one and have a free phone from locking in for two. Okay, so yeah, that's the same as me. I'm like 75 bucks a month with a protection plan, the phone cost, and the actual service bill. Um, but with that being said, yeah, the phone cost is like less than half of what it should have been because of the discount. Um, they don't let you pay it off in advance, unfortunately. I paid off as much as I could, but they they only let, let you pay a certain amount, and then you can't break from the plan for two years because they got to keep you as a customer. That's what they get. Various benefits like Netflix. I went to the Philippines when I was younger. You can get a three-bed, two-bath. Really? That's crazy. I wish. That'd be so nice. That cheap. Yeah, if you're eating and drinking a bunch of booze for uh, 50 bucks a day, that's pretty good. Eating only, I mean, I'm sure you could do much better, but that's a different thing. Yeah, I don't know much about what it should be or what it is, so I couldn't, I couldn't have input to that. All right, yield bags up. Oh, another fucking WhatsApp. 
That's crazy. Yeah, and then you go to places like uh, you go to places like Vancouver or Toronto, and uh, people can barely survive on like four grand a month. I couldn't imagine that. I wasn't making four grand a month a year ago. Fuck. Like. I couldn't, I couldn't survive if I was only making enough to just pay my bills. I'm way too anxious of a person. It's Canadian, so like 600 USD. Ah, uh, yeah. We do, we do be having our Monopoly money. Bag machine's really not working as hard as it should be. No, it never is. That's why I utilize the extreme luck that I had, and I, uh... Hey, buttery spread! There he is! I knew he was coming by. I just didn't know when. All the homies rolling in at once. Plushy man, how's it going? Happy to see you here. Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday afternoon, evening, morning, whatever the hell it is for you. Sorry, I don't always remember for everybody, but yeah, what's your vibes? Um... Yeah, times are tough, man. The, this economy is shit. Um, it's not getting any better. But yeah, we're uh, we're gonna get right into this. I'm gonna have these couple of bags. Um, I'm gonna go disappear somewhere to make those go away, and then uh, we'll get right into it once we crack this father mucker right here. But yeah, we ready? What what are we what are we trying to see today? What's our goal after Flannery? I might not have even even disappeared. I'm not looking at the fucking camera. What a goober. No. Okay. I lost four Pokemon and four gym badges. And my Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke. Well, that's uh that's definitely a little little chaotic, but I mean, as long as you're having fun, that's what matters, right? <laughs> you got those turkey bags going? Fuck yeah, buttery, you know it. I was bet that I wouldn't, because I had a shot. So, getting them in me. I was, I was, I was told I needed to take two, and then a brother is going to have a peanut butter jelly drink. Flumpus is still here. Fuck yeah! At least we have Flumpus. That's really who we were hoping to see stay. Boimp. Number one down the hatch, boys. <laughs> I just kind of listened that sentence over back in my head and I feel kind of naked. My Canadian is showing. <laughs> when I drink, I, I think the the perceived accent comes on a little bit harder. We will have the best stream. That is the mood. That is the move. I'm uh, I'm really excited for this. We got one more turkey bag down the hatch. We'll have this guy while we're waiting. Um, I'll actually give it one sec because this has got to come off the come off ye old fucking oven right quick. Yeah, Jack, I actually am. Sorry, I, I never, uh, I guess we never talked about that, but, uh, I am, yeah. Yeah. How about you? Are you from Canada, or? Sounds like we're about to learn a lot about each other. Bro, if I had 20 badges, I'd really be vibing. Unfortunately, I don't possess that many badges. Uh, I want to see. Can I outline the text? Deep down, wishing you were mine. Deep down, wishing you were mine. Um. 
the pig. Yeah, background color should be black. All right. Okay, so that's fucking peculiar. It don't matter. It don't matter. Canadians naturally find each other. Something like that. So like prior to stream, did you have to park your moose or polar bear in your barn? Uh, no, I actually use an otter this time of year. They're kind of better just for getting around the city. Uh, they're more versatile. Yeah, they're a little bit slower, but um, it's an all-around just better ride. So yeah, he's, he's vibing in the garage. I had to kind of push some snow out of the way so I could get him in. But, uh, yeah, he's doing good. How about you? You got any or what? Feed your pet a sandwich and they will learn how to fly. That is quite literally something I've been saying for years. And if you think otherwise, twist your nuts. Fuck you, buddy. Well, okay, Buttery, no one's saying I don't have a muskox. That's just not my daily. I think we need to get that straight. Is that... Are we understanding here? Are we at a mutual agreement? I feel like we may be. Ye old bag of Turk is huffed. Uh, I gotta tell the wife to drive safe. Because that always matters. Thank you very much. It is a, um, it's a Gengar Udi. Or Udi, I don't know how you say it, but it's got that little tag. I don't know. My mom got it for me. I, uh, I really like it. But yeah, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Shout out to her. She actually also got me this. It's a little, like, sapphire mineral. It's actually pretty big. But, uh, a muskox, ox, I thought we would have been rocking either woods or by, uh, fucking woods bison or plains bison this time of year, but I guess the old otter makes sense. I mean, it's not the most practical, but when a guy's not loaded, I mean, what else is this? What, what am I supposed to do, right? There's not really much else I can, uh, I can muster. Uh, but I've been looking into the, into the plains bison. I might do it, I don't know. Kind of on edge. Finally done the Rufian Sapphire Arc of the Manga. It took too long. Oh, goodness. I want to do that. I really want to do that. But I didn't. How is it? Are you enjoying it? Is it fun? Also, welcome to the stream, Sanity. Happy to see you here. Hope you're having a fantastic afternoon. I gotta stop doing that. I just, it's kind of a habit. All right, well, we're gonna take this. We're gonna crack it open. You guys can hear it here. Ooh. Oh, that, I'm kind of sick, so maybe that just smells weird, but it's peanut butter jelly. Just, just for y'all here. Kind of weird. See how she is. Hmm. Oh, that's why this shit's so cheap. It's local. Oh. The peanut butter jelly doesn't hit as much as it should. Um, sorry, I, I'm kind of not caught up here. Let me, let me get back to business. Um, do -do 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 -do. I only have the red, blue, and yellow arc of the manga. Not familiar, but still would like to be. Currently on the fire red and leaf green arc. Neat. Uh, download Takiyomi and read manga that way. It's uh, okay. Sounds good. I will screenshot that and uh, do that. Charizard, hey, how's it going? Happy to see you. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing fantastic. What's your day looking like so far? We're gonna down a little bit of this and get right into training. Ah. 
Oh. All right. It's a little heavy. <laughs> I thought peanut butter and jelly would be better. Like I said, though, I don't like alcohol, guys. <laughs> Hello, Charizard Z with the telephone. Lazy. I feel that. I feel that. I still got the Emerald Arc. Then finally on to Sin Sinnoh. And to think... That's just the start of an arc. There's plenty more to do past that. Deep down, wishing you were mine. Down, wishing you were mine. Bro, look like he's drinking. Dude, that's what it tastes like. It tastes like fucking Buckley's. It's not good. It's really not good. Looks like two Mudkips died. Uh, that was because we did a restart. So the first Mudkip was from the first playthrough. So I'm keeping all of them uh, on there. So like if we do if we do like six wipes, I want to keep six wipes worth of Pokemon there. I want it to look fucking obnoxious. If we think otherwise is a good idea, then let me know. I'm happy to change up as we see fit. But yeah, that's uh that mudkip's from the first wipe. Um, one might say so, Monster Your Telephone. Oof. It's fucking gross. It tastes like shit. Don't buy that. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly. More like peanut butter and piss. That's not good. Uh, up to Oras Arc. Nice. Not surprising, honestly. What's not surprising, sorry? That this tastes like shit? Yeah, if that's what you mean, then yeah, I wasn't fully in the dark. I I had a hunch of what I was doing. I was just, I was hopeful, and that made a fool out of me. All right. And suddenly we're in. Am I in a good spot. Oh fuck yeah. I'm gonna grind forever so I have a skill ridge for the for the Yono fight. I would say it quite <laughs> I would say if I knew what like actual like nut butter, like peanut butter. Um Maybe remnants. They're heavier on the jelly, that's for sure. But it's not a good jelly. Uh I would have a Chloe. And Eevee, BFB, because they're my favorite characters, but Latios and Latios are my favorite Pokemon, not Eevee. True, true. I want to make a, I want to make a, a nice AI profile picture soon. I don't mind the one I have, but I'd like a new one. Now, if I recall correctly, our Numel is at like two health, so, yep. We're just going to alleviate that real quick. Um, now, if you notice, for Slugma and Swablu, we kind of dropped the fucking ball on following our alcohol name theme. So we'll rename them uh, when we get the chance, I think. Still funny. Cotton Swab and Slugma Dick. Um, I do rock with them anyway, but... Yeah, so let's just see real quick who the hell has the EXP share. So soft sand as he should. Dude's pissed. Chill the fuck out. You know, we should also just take this guy. Slave Maga. Formerly Slave McGee. Get him out of there. Why Slave McGee? Well, it was supposed to be Slave McGee, but it's because it's an HM slave. We can't use it. Shit. Okay, so Swablu has the EXP share. That's probably a good idea. Um, once we are... Eh. No, our level cap's 29, so... 
I don't think we need to EXP share Numo right now. Yeah, I do fuck with Slugma Dick, though. It's just... It's not exactly themed as it should be, but... I guess does it really matter? It's still good. And that's kind of what matters, I would say. What the fuck? Oh, your skip loom died? That's ass. I'm sorry. That sucks. You identified me while I ruined you. So take that. Cotton swab leveled up. We like that. A numal. Oh, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Well, is it rock or ground that Numel's weak to? I'm just gonna try this once. Okay, so it's ground then. I guess I could. Ground. What does Rhyhorn evolve into again? Yes, right on. Ha ha ha. Rock, flying, ground. I'm not gonna remember that. I'm not gonna lie, but I'll try. <laughs> then get Rhyperior via trade while holding Protector. <laughs> Rock smashes ice. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll remember that. I, I need, uh... I don't know. I need to, like, study a chart. That's what I need to do. Oh yeah, I don't have water moves. This doesn't even matter. I mean, I guess we've lowered attack. Yeah, I'm not I'm not fantastic with typing. Just to disrespect. Screw you. And the Magma Grunt is out. No ban Charizard, no ban. I literally forgot the middle evolution of Bulbasaur online. Yeah, that's happened to me too, very recently. But I smoke a lot of pot, so that's probably why. How? How what? Oh, how you forget the middle evolution of for Bulbasaur? The like the Bulbasaur line? A shroomish. <clears throat> well fuck this guy. Get out of here. Pokemon has luck, but each time a Pokemon dies, you eat a two-month expired Taco Bell burrito. I would have to wait two months to even start doing that. I can remember practically every star of his name, star, middle, and final. Yeah, but I just, I don't know, I'm just stupid. That's how it goes with me. Absolutely not. <laughs> I smoke a lot of pot and still manage to remember the type chart from children's video games. I remember a lot of other shit, it's just I never memorized it. Um, why? Don't ask. Because I don't know. Get out of here with Astonish. Finished. Type chart can be annoying, but easy to remember. Yeah, I just have to put it to mind once. Honestly, like, if I spend a day on it, I'll remember it. I just have to put the work in, and I am very... lazy, I guess. Don't take my phone number. Oh, I don't like you, Diana. Uh, but yeah, I just gotta put a day into it, and then, ooh, should we get fucking cream pied by these fellows down here? We got that fire water combo. I mean, I do have to train the mouth up anyway. Yeah. Message restricted. Or retracted. Now I gotta see what that was, because it'll be on the... It'll be on the video cover. 
Let's see. You forgot when you need it the most and remember when you don't need to. Why retract such an, an, an important message? Oh no, it's after. Oh, it never made it there. Ah, shit, you got it covered. All right. That's funny. I didn't I didn't think it would work that way. It was too. Heh. <laughs> what you mean by that? I hear a jam. Oh, okay. Oh, you're right there. God damn. See you, Jan. Aye! It's awfully scary to shoot down the mountain in one go. That? That's fair. That's fair. I got you, Sanity. No worries. Oh, they got one each. Come on. That's it? Oh. Cash money right here. Alright. We, we already know the plan. So, all of you, low attack. As for you, you do that, and you are going to do that. That was stupid. That was not the good move. Oh, and you held on. <sighs> if you could see my face right now. You would, uh... It, it, I, I don't know. I was just annoyed at that. Is a flittle? Hard to read chat from here, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, double paralysis, hey? You little bastard. Just had to get in something extra before you inevitably died. The utter disrespect. Oh. Oh wait. I'm stupid. They're not peril or they're not poisoned. There we go. That was nonsensical. My bad. I should have gotten that item, but it is what it is. You don't need to tell me about Jagged Pass. I know what I need to. Mind your business, Ethan. With your zigzagoon. That I will end. Could have had a Larvesta or Sandile. Oh, a Sandile would have been good. Yo, that's my name. What's your name? I didn't say Charizard until right now. Or did I? Not my Zigzagoon? No, it's your Zigzagoon. That's definitely true. Don't wing attack me, you little bastard. <clears throat> That's right. Yeah, get pumped all you want. You're done, bud. You're done. Oh, Ethan. True. Well, now I know. I'd like to give a non-sponsored ad to... Tilsa Tech? Cut resistant gloves. Thanks to them, I didn't cut my finger off with a zip disk. What did you do? How did you almost cut your finger off with a zip desk? That sounds like not the best of ideas. Surely not purposeful, but... <clears throat> Still doesn't sound like the, uh, the best time. Mm. 
You don't get to walk anywhere. Screw you. So, we can hit the gym, but we need to train up. So, where's our best place to train up at the moment? Um... Because I'd like to be at, what, like 27 before we get there? Because we'll have a couple trainers to hit in the... Oh, yeah, that's right. I hit a repel. That's stupid. <laughs> um, we have a couple trainers to hit inside of the gym first. I mean, we can probably use them to train up, hey? Yeah, okay. We're on the same... We're on the same wavelength. Now I just want to call you Ethan, now that I know your name. It's gotta stay Charizard. The telephone. The myth. The legend. Steel cable. So did it, like, fly back at you, or it shattered the disc? I, I, I'm confused. Oh, I got 28 grand. Nice. We're with it. Gotta stack up on the essentials, you know? Yeah, we'll get eight. If we want a super repel, we'll have four of them. If I don't have a, uh, th these are simply uh, not for the gym. They're for just if I'm not near a uh, a Pokemon Center and I need to heal up anything. Yeah, I, I know I can't use them now for anything really. Oh, the revives. Yeah, you're right. I'm stupid. <laughs> I wasted so much money on revives I won't use. Okay, well, let's get some money back. You're right. That's what you're talking about. I See, this is why... This is part of what makes the challenge the challenge, is you drink and then you forget about simple things. Jesus Christ. Items. I Sometimes I don't know which side I tap on, because the... Touchpad is so sensitive, but it looks like I have no ability to. Uh... Okay, well at least we get some money back. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have a gold duck. Uh, Jesus Christ! A duck trio, a skill ridge, and an es Espartha? Is Panthera before the gym? I'm not familiar with the last one, honestly. Yeah, Jack, that was stupid of me, but we'll get some of our money back. You know, technically speaking, no. I couldn't even need it for Zigzagoon, because Zigzagoon isn't allowed to enter battle. And if it does faint, that means I wiped. So, alright, well that's okay, we lost... We lost some money. <laughs> Yeah, you win some and you lose some. We mostly lose around here. <laughs> this is this is Wall Street bets now. What do you know, dude? Hey, how's it going, champion bound villain? Ooh, nice. Lava Ridge's gym leader Flannery uses fire type Pokemon. Her passion for Pokemon burns stronger and hotter than a volcano. Don't get too close to her, you'll burn. Hose her down with the water and then go for it. So, uh, fire is weak to ground, correct? Yeah, see ya, plushie. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you being here. I'll go check it out. The, uh, the herb house. See, this is, this is the thing about alcohol. I already forgot what I fucking asked. Actually, that's the weed. Let's not lie. Oh yeah, they're weak to ground. That's what I asked. Okay, okay. Oh my god. 
Oh, it's bitter. Does that piss off the Pokemon? Okay, we don't need Revival Herb. We don't need it. <laughs> yeah, Water Ground Rock. Noted. All of them lower friendship. Well, I don't really need friendship for any of my Pokemon currently, do I? Whoa, chill out. Don't use one Pokemon that require happiness to evolve, but I don't think you'd have any in your team. Yeah, I don't think any of them are uh, friendship-based evolutions. <clears throat> oh, shit. See, that's what I mean. It's just so sensitive. So before we do the gym, uh, we're going to take a little hit of that peanut butter jelly shit, and then we'll start up. I'm excited. This is fun. This stuff's purple. Why is it purple? It's terrifying. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, don't buy any more heal powders or full heals because you buy lava. I actually bought a ton of lava cookies too. I just wanted to be extra stocked up because I had the money. So. Can you... Can you what? Yeah, just put it back on its dish. Well, is, is the cycle done? Yeah, then you're good. Just put it on its dish. Thank you. The wife just wanted to move my plant from under the grow light. Because I had it on the heater. <laughs> I have like a portable rolling heater. Um, buy 10 Revival Herbs, step 2, and then profit. You can sell Revival Herbs in an alley behind the Pokemon Center for big bucks. Surely that's where I go. What is this? Boom! Oh, that's a wall. That's a fellow. See how the flames blaze wildly? They flare in anticipation of my win. Bet. Kindler Jeff would like to battle. Kindler, Je Kindler Jeff sent out Slugma. Well, <laughs> you can... <laughs> Slugma dick. Bitch. You're done. You're done, buddy. Oh, times two. Bye. See you later. Your cockiness killed you. This puzzle is going to be heinous with your game knowledge and sobriety level. Surely I can pull myself together. Something didn't go right. Huh, what was it? Oh, this dude has such a lopsided face. Whoa. Look at his one eye versus the other. All right, see you, dude. Oh, what the fuck? So that guy is just one that you can encounter. I like that. We got some extra, some extra levels out of him. So wait, I have Gyarados, but does Gyarados even know anything that is helpful in this gym? I mean, Dragon Rage and Bite, I guess. It just, it can deal substantial hits. They just won't be super effective. That's all. Okay, so these are a bunch of holes, and I can choose one. Um, I choose the people. Because they're not all holes. Not super effective, but does some damage and tanks some and resists fire. Yeah, it's definitely a good all-around Pokemon. And especially in this situation, now 
Intimidate helps because uh, both of their attacks will be lowered. Oh, there we go. Kindler Jace and Kindler Eli won a battle. Kindler Jace sent out Slugma and Hiker Eli sent out Numa. Did I say Kindler to both of them before? Probably did. I wouldn't put it past me. Okay, well in this case, then we will take a Magnitude... And then that should take out both of them. Uh, but just in case, we'll bite... Slugma. Now Slugma's done no matter what. Bye. Doesn't affect me. I didn't even think about the fact that Magnitude could affect me. So Kraken's the only one to have when using Magnitude. I need to keep these guys together. Okay, Cotton Swab's leveling up. It's so hot, yet my heart is clutched by ice. Alright. Well, it seems to me I lost without ever being in control. That tends to be how that works sometimes. <clears throat> 1600 bucks, fuck yeah. Thanks, dudes. Um, still doing good. All right. We're going up here. Nice. <clears throat> We're going top right after this. For sure. Yeah, so it's it's actually really good to have uh, Kraken. Kecleon and Numel. Okay, so this one, easy, easy. <clears throat> so lower both of the attack, because fuck them. And we'll go in with the old magnitude, and then... <clears throat> we'll bite Kecleon. That was stupid. I don't think dark would make it weak. Okay, so now it's ground type. I don't know typings, so we're just gonna do that. <clears throat> Okay, now it doesn't matter. Just take it out. <clears throat> there we go. We got dual 26s now. <clears throat> That's a little bit better. I'm blinded by sweat in my eyes. It didn't burn hotly enough. Really? That's what you're that's what you're going with, really? All right. I'll take that. <clears throat> Where they are. <clears throat> I'm not really about to lose anything. Uh, level cap should be on the screen there on the bottom left, but I believe it's 29. Oh, top right's a person. <laughs> I mean, I did go top right, I didn't lie. Killer Axel would like to battle with a Numel. <clears throat> Alright. Should still take him out. No, it wouldn't. Oh, he came out with an aggressive growl, though. That's got him for sure. Bye, buddy. Okay, yeah, we don't need to level up Cotton Swab right now. Um, I 
There. Now we'll level both up no matter what. <clears throat> so the one on the top right is another person, I take it? Yeah. Okay. You must be getting tired by now. You'd like to rest in the hot sand, wouldn't you? But you should know that maintaining you maintaining your willpower is an important ability for all trainers. Kinda have to in this situation, so. One Pokemon Kindler Keegan? Really? And it's a Slugma. My dude. <sighs> You're not doing enough. <clears throat> I will say that with confidence. You are not doing enough. Alright, some more money in the pocket. Go down here. So then... Top center is a trainer? Nope, then these both are trainers. No? I thought the color was indicative. I was hoping so, anyway. Kindler Danielle would like to battle? Or why did I say Kindler again? Jesus Christ. I thought I read it. I must be going insane. Now, I don't know what Meditite's weak to, but we're gonna try Magnitude anyway. Oh, shoot. On a 9-2. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know what to do here. Try one more. Okay, we'll try another then. And hope it doesn't detect. I really took the chance of... Oh my god. Okay, I don't want to take that risk anymore. No, I'm not. I, I don't want to risk that. <clears throat> We're going straight to Kraken. <clears throat> yeah, I don't rock with Meditate. He's pretty annoying, actually. I really like Bite, though. Yeah, I, I really didn't see him making it through that. <clears throat> oh, fuck off with confusion, you little bitch. Peace out. <clears throat> Battle girl Danielle, you weren't doing enough. I don't know how she stays in the air like that, though. That's pretty weird. On to the next. <clears throat> hmm. Trainer? No? That sucks. That's okay. I can remember my way back. <clears throat> so... We went here, and then we went down. No, I don't remember, but we're gonna we're gonna YOLO here. Okay, no, I do, I do. I went top left, and top left again, and then I went up there. So I'm gonna try this way this time. <clears throat> I didn't try this one yet. Let's see what's there. Okay, so that one's a circle. So we were in the right direction the first time. 
Honestly, I kind of like this. It's, uh, it's fun for me. But puzzles are kind of headaches, generally speaking. So we went in the second one. So we, we wanted to go up, and then one of these is a trainer. No? This is it. Yep. Okay, so are we ready? 26, we have a level cap. We can go three higher. But where are we going to get the three levels at this point? Are there any more encounterable trainers? Because if there are, that would be ideal. I think Magnitude has a ton, like 20 left. Yeah, 21 left. <laughs> uh, we did Cycling Road already. <laughs> yep. Uh, white... Wipe with fireball should not happen. Yeah, I mean, fireball should be good enough, I would think. And then I can just switch to Kraken, which resists anyway. What do you think Torkoal will body me? I believe you, I just, I want to know your, uh, I want to know your reasoning. Yeah, because another Numal will magnitude me back. That's fair, that's fair. You're right. Okay, good to know. But yeah, why are we thinking Torkoal will body me? Genuinely. I'm just not familiar with why that may be. Torkoal has a tract, curse for setup, but slam and overheat. Huh. Yeah, and Numel's female, because that uh, that applies in the attract mechanics, right? Huh. Well, I th I I don't know. I think we can do it. What do you guys think? You guys probably have a little bit of a better idea than me. I think I've got... Oh, I forgot how gross that is. Where's the tequila? Um... <laughs> I think we've got enough guidance here that we can probably make something work, but... At the same time, if we're, if we're not good enough, we're not good enough. He has Sunny Day and Not Curse. <clears throat> okay, well that's that's a big move. At least he doesn't have Curse. Yeah, let's let's see what we have for lower levels here. Death fodder. I'm not sure what fodder means. Like, uh, <clears throat> you mean uh, something I can sacrifice? If so, I'm not sure. But the only ones that really have a chance are these two. Yeah, I don't think so. We can go check. I mean, it's not going to be hard for me to get back here.
Okay. Because, yeah, we can switch out Slave Maga. Because he's useless to have in the party right now. Oof, that dead box. So, we have one Pokemon that can potentially be useful. We got good old level 7 Sailor Gels. Also easily obtainable at a higher level again, though. So no matter what, I think that's a good one to switch, just to have the option. Water versus fire with the Pokemon that doesn't have a water move. I don't think, anyway. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> Early Olympus, use new mount for the first three, get some lucky magnitude rolls, switch to Kraken on the Torkoal, get the Intimidate, and then Dragon Rage. Yeah, it's level 7 though. It's gonna get shit on no matter what. It doesn't really have much of a chance. But here's the thing, I also don't want to go sacrificing Pokemon. I guess we can go through there looking for some more trainers. Perhaps there's more? We'll run a couple different routes than we did. So... Where didn't we go? We went down, we've done the top one, so we haven't done the leftmost. I guess we have. No, I just bring you to a, dif to a different spot. So you have to go here. Then you have to go here. And then I think we did both of those. Hey, it's level 7. Don't get it twisted. Level 3 would just be stupid. Last one didn't work. Uh, we did b that one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that one again. Fuck. Oh, never mind. We didn't do that one. Okay, so what I'm seeing is there's no more trainers. Uh, Numel's speed stat... ...is 31. I believe it's nature... I think mild is plus speed though, isn't it? Not that it matters, because 31's still low, but... Okay. I'll be on the wait. You don't think I'm winning? With 26s? I mean, that that's a fair... Even with the, the typing resistance and the advantage, um, having soft sand and ground. Take moves. Hmm. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, that, that's a very fair judgment. And so we stepped out. To reconfigure a new plan. <laughs> okay, well let's just go and fight some wild fire mons. And, uh... I don't know. I think that's our best bet. I don't know if we have another option. Ooh, a nugget. Fuck yeah. 
In Jagged Pass. Uh, yeah, I think that's where the new mole came from. Switch into Kraken on camera up, then sacrifice Tentacle on Torkoal to get the Intimidate off again. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't know. Uh, okay, wait, I don't really know what the Jagged Pass is then. Where is Jagged Pass? Okay, well, don't judge me. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I only know stupid shit. Like, there's like a 1 in 50-something chance that there's a hiker here. And we didn't land it this time. <clears throat> South through to the volcano. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. But we'll get some lava cookies while we're here. I hate how much you have to spam this. Why can't I get more? Okay. We'll get we'll go to 10. I think this is number six. Might be wrong. <laughs> Almost there. I bought like 150 fresh water on Fire Red, and then when I got to Island, I saw you could buy them by the multiples. Oh, fuck, that's rough. That's rough. Yep, that was 10. You can get either a Machop or Spoink. Well, Machop wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I guess I didn't encounter anything here. Let's see. A spoink. Well, we get a spoink. I don't even want to hit it with anything. True. Better resistance. Surely it can take a fucking ember, right? Um, I haven't thought about trade evolutions yet. I don't know. Ah, yeah, good idea. Put the feller to sleep. No! Oh, my fuck. Okay, well, maybe that wasn't the best advice. But it's okay. Uh, that would have been a really nice Pokemon to have. Guess I'm taking a shot for that. All right, let's um, regroup. Does anything here know anything smart? Uh, I can take a tackle. It is what it is. It's a Nuzlocke, that's what we're here for. Ooh. 
Get the little Q-tip in there. Nah, we got it. The tackle was all we needed. Okay, you guys can think of alcohol-themed names for this spoink while I take my shot. The bounce Pokemon standing at a whopping 2 foot 4 inches at 67 and a half pounds, being a Pokemon that manipulates psychic power at will. It doesn't stop bouncing even when it is asleep. It loves eating sh oh. Loves eating mushrooms that grow underground. Dude's tripping. Okay, I guess I'll take my shot. Book. Reality. I'm back in it. He do know his psychic. It's okay. Um, maybe if we're lucky, we get another Oddish encounter later. Now, can we count like a good chug of this as a shot? Is that cool? Can we can we be agreeable agreeable upon that? Oh, goodness, I know. If we just had our marsh stop. Don't remind me. Okay, so we can get gloom later. Bottoms up is a good... Will that fit? B-O-T-T-O-M-S. Yeah, we can do bottoms up. I like that. What else we got? I, I'm going to use this as the shot. I'm going to drink more than one... Or more than here. I'll pour them out in here. So we'll do... A double. Oh my god. Huh. I'm doing this because this is weaker, by the way. So that's three. I'll take that one in a sec. Um, I'm gonna call this on the... I'm gonna just call it one shot here, because it's not that strong. I mean, let's call it two, because it's two separate glasses. Alright. Oh my god. Ah, uh, well, Oddish, you went to a good cause. Um, not really. As I'll say, and I usually say, which I forgot to say the first time, if you're having a drink with me, cheers. Uh, if not, lucky you. And uh, here's to watching me suffer. <laughs> Bottoms up. back in it so are we just thinking bottoms up then i'm gonna start typing that out if anyone thinks otherwise now's your time to contest whoa what the fuck Going twice. Sold to Chizo. Well, now we have to go and, uh, oh, go away, Madeline. We don't need you here. Got a burn heal. Nice. Back to the PC. To deposit and take. It really was a give and take. We traded a psychic for... I mean, the Oddish will just get at a higher level later, so... I don't know. I'm not too, too angry about it, honestly.
Alright. Bye, Absinthe. And... Hello, Bottoms Up. Yeah, I... I'm not too much of a fan of Grumpig, how it looks, but, uh... I, I don't know much about his stats, but hopefully it's good. Yeah, the death box is kind of impressive. These ones aren't dead. I should... I'll move the Spinda. Um... How do I move him to the next box? There we go. It just didn't want to... Oh my fox. Fucking creek. There. Oh, and then I do that. Spoink is trash. I think Grumpig is base 460-ish. I don't... Yeah, I don't really know much about that, honestly, but... Hopefully we can train it up to something relatively usable. There. Yeah, those are just cool fellows. Yeah, that death box is really depressing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, might as well while we're here. I think I used a couple PP, maybe? I don't know. Probably not. Now, while I agree with that buttery, where do we go? There's not many places to grind, I don't think. You think so? True, I'd get better XP. I don't like that guy. Alright, let's see if we see the hiker this time. <laughs> oh, jeez. Damn. I love the pixel art in this generation. It looks so good. Okay. Down the Jagged Pass we go. Sup. Here we are. I just want to see the hiker, dude. I just want to see the hiker. <laughs> Dude's a stand-up fellow. So what's my chop week do? Fire, maybe? Nope. But we're gonna do that again. Flying and psychic, okay. So nothing in particular. Does it have anything that can harm my Numel? I wouldn't think so, hey? Weak to ground. Okay, so that's not a big issue then. That will not faint, I don't think. No. Oh shit. Not weak to ground? Okay, cool.
Actually, I want to do something real quick. There. That was pissing me off. I pretty much use them to spam magnitude anyway. Take her easy, man. Have fun at the driving range. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. And yeah, I get that. I have a lot of misconceptions in general, so... I feel, man. Oh shit. I didn't mean to use strength again. I'm scared to... Can I faint from this? Is that possible? Okay. I, I got scared. I didn't know if I'd outspeed. That was my, my main concern. Nice. Oh, I didn't know how seismic toss worked. Good to know. Thank you for elaborating. Oh, that's right. Don't gotta move. And you're done. Bye bye. Put the HP share on a noob, you're only gonna have Kraken at Noomo. Yeah, that, that's why I have uh, the EXP share on Kraken, so I can get them both to level cap. Because they're the... actually, Kraken's behind. Kraken's only level 26. <clears throat> once, I, uh, once I get them at cap, it's gonna go to somebody else. For the gym leader, anyway. Don't karate chop me, you wiener. How disrespectful. We got a long way until we get this. We're actually pretty lucky to get the spoink. Well, yes and no, because species claws, we would have just re-rolled anyway. Oh my god. It missed again. Yeah, I, I probably should have. I just wanted to keep the EXP on him. But, jeez, that's so low. I'm gonna be here for... Wait a long time. And do you mean like I should have switched to Q-Tip or the EXP share? Because if, if you're talking about the EXP share, I definitely agree. Thirty, you think? All right. Well, let's count. This is number one. Can somebody keep keep count for me? Because I sure as fuck can't do it for myself. I'll try. It's number two. If I don't waste my time on anything other than Numel, then I'll do it quicker, I think. That might not kill? Okay, it did. Yeah, that's the second one. Ooh. 
Yeah, screw it. Numel's common enough, I think. We'll see, we'll see. <clears throat> Do a few of these, and if it doesn't prove effective, then I'll stop. Nice. Three. Michael, hi, welcome to the stream. How's it going today? Uh, we're gonna avoid it. <coughs> you know, it's seeming to work pretty well, honestly. I, uh... I don't mind this just switching unless you get a numal type of, I, I don't know, plan. That's number four. Yeah, you're probably right. Is this a randomizer? No, Michael, this is not a randomizer. This is a legitimate co uh, copy of Pokemon Emerald. Uh, or rather, should I say a physical cartridge? These Newell are really just... We can feed right off of them. Fuck yeah. Might as well be, given how many I lose. Doesn't really matter. If I had one one round, or uh, one gym, I won't have the... Same six the next. Randomize is a lot more fun. Can't wait for you to try one. Yeah, I definitely will in the future. Uh, once I have this one done. That's six. So, um, there's actually, uh, I guess I'll explain. So I, I run this game through, uh, what's called a GB operator. Uh, if you're not familiar, it's a... It's an interface that plugs into your PC via USB, and you can put your c cartridge straight into it. Um, and there's actually an integrated feature within it that allows you to uh, input cheats if you want in the software. I personally haven't, and I don't think I will. Uh, but I do really appreciate the offer. Thank you. I'm uh, I'm honestly I I'm quite the purist. <laughs> Was that seven? Yeah. Oh, these guys are too common. Well, if that wasn't 7, then that definitely was. <laughs> Get it? Because it was magnitude 7. That's number 8. But yeah, do you guys have any randomizers you would recommend? Perfect. Numel being 60% is exactly what we need. Until we get a magnitude 4. Uh, now I'm forgetting, I think this is going to be number 8. Oh no, no, this is number 9. <laughs> I have single-handedly made Numel an endangered species. Finally, holy shit, Kraken. Now, I don't know if that's 9 or 10 now. I'm forgetting. The liquor's hitting, boys. I think that means I should finish off that bottle. Yeah, we're doing it. It's a vibe. Oh, are you kidding me? That's not a vibe. I personally don't know how to randomize a Pokemon game. I think you have to, uh, I think you have to get actual, like, ROM hacks that are made to be randomizers. Um, just as a screw you, by the way, Numel. Uh, but I, <laughs> I think you have to get ROM hacks, um, or just modified saves, um, that you can toss into an emulator, and it does it for you. 
Still not sure if my randomizer I got or if my ROM had the wrong gen mods in it or what went wrong for me, but either way, I don't remember which link I downloaded randomizer from. I've only ever used universal randomizer with a ROM on my PC. Physical cartridge would be difficult. Yeah, I think it would be. Randomizing is easy. Just click the settings you want, customize the ROM, and make a new file. Okay, yeah, I, I can look into it. It seems pretty simple. Another non-faint. Ah! Oh, for sure. Yeah, I can look it up when the when the time comes. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there, man. I don't know if this is a... I think this is 12. But I'm gonna stop counting, honestly. You're... You're probably right. I don't need to count to 30 to make a point. <laughs> I, I think you've got that in the bag. Oh yeah. We don't need this. Are you kidding me? You know what? Fuck you. I knew that was gonna hit crit. I totally did. Yep. Alright, level 28. We're one under cap, and then we have to... Once we get to cap, we'll just throw the EXP share on Kraken and throw it out first, and it'll get double XP from whatever we battle. Are you kidding me? Another freaking spoink? Dude. Bye. Uh, I'll just keep doing this, I guess. Eh, six isn't gonna kill it, I don't think. Psywave must have a really low accuracy. That's not gonna kill either. Fuck. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I was thinking about going to that patch of grass. I will, upon further investigation. Oh, you have to go. How do you get into it? I went too far, didn't I? Do you need rock climb? Yeah, I got cucked. I see you, buttery. Oh yeah, so I can hop back up. True. Well, I have to heal soon anyway, so... Uh, let's just do that now and then come back. Because we, uh, we have almost no PP left on, um... What the hell is it called? Magnitude. Okay. Head on back now, boy. I guess that doesn't help me. I'm at the bottom. But if I had the acro bike, then I could go back up. Are we going to see the hiker? Let's have our drink on the way up. That's BS. Why not? Oh, I'm going to finish this bad boy up just because. Mm. 
Ugh. She done. I won't be buying that one again. Oh, I guess I'll be going back in the building though. So yeah, I can't get down there without the acro bike anyway, right? So. We'll keep on running true to grass. That's shit. So is that. That's double shit. Oh, I don't like that. Although, although I will hit first, so... Okay. the old energy route. Why not? Wasn't super expensive. We got more than enough to go around anyway. There we go. Now we're getting some more freaking Numel. And now we creep towards Cap. Slowly but surely. No! I mean, that'll still knock out, but. Low rolls, man. Uh, I believe Kraken is male, so I don't think Kraken. If you're wondering about Attract. Uh, yeah. I think I think we may be affected. Make some nachos after the stream. Kind of feeling some nachos. <laughs> We're getting so close to level cap, guys. Mexican food is so good, man. I... So, my nachos I make at home, I tend to... I'll layer them out all nicely on a uh, baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil. I'll grate a whole bunch of cheese on them, and then I'll put on, like, some... Uh, I have a six-bean medley I usually get, and then I'll throw some green onion on there. Uh, I don't mind throwing, like, some peppers on it too, like some green bell pepper or whatever. Um, if I have it, cilantro, but the wife doesn't really like it, so that's not one I tend to put on. Well, fresh grated, of course. Of course. <laughs> We're not about that, uh, that bagged stuff. Uh, what else do I throw on it? I feel like I put on more, but I forget. I tend to keep them vegetarian, honestly. Then they're good for longer. Like, I feel like it's a lot more edible the next day when I just have, like, beans, cheese, and vegetable, other vegetable, right? I guess beans aren't a vegetable, they're a legume. Um, so that was correct the first time, but, uh, yes, I really do like spicy food quite a bit. Um, I do tend to sometimes with my nachos, I have... Well, actually, Jack of Spades, he bought me 
like four or five bottles of hot sauce when he went to Mexico uh, like a month or so ago. Uh, so I have a bunch of those I've been eating, but I also have a, a ghost pepper one, and oh, fuck. It sucks. I have a ghost pepper one uh, that I tend to use sometimes that I just squirt out onto stuff, and then... Uh, I think that's about it for now, actually. Um, well, there's a reason I got off my bike. Uh, so I guess my answer to your question is I don't know. I thought it would be quicker. And that was most definitely not the case. Solid mistake on my part. Well, hopefully we get a rye hole. <laughs> Hopefully we get a high roll on the spoink. Yes. You're done. Okay. Nice. A lot of one-hit KOs here. It's really working for us. Surely Kraken will level up soon. <clears throat> to level 20... I think it'll be 2 level 28? Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Get out of here. I usually turn off battle animations too, but the magnitude one is great. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing it actually. Maybe I'll, uh... There we go. Maybe I'll turn them on for the gym. Might as well. Ugh. What a garbage roll. Love when you get 10 and the temporary concussion symptoms. When you hit the 10. Oh, <laughs> from the screen shaking so much. I got you, I got you. Okay. Go away, Lola. I don't need to know any of what you're saying. <clears throat> now that you say that, that is one thing I do remember uh, seeing as a kid is like noticing it was more more agitated as the number got higher. That's ass again. Oh no, he hit us with Ember. What will we ever do? There we go, finally. Max HP, ooh, max HP is pretty high on Kraken too. Uh, so that's nice. Ah, <clears throat> uh, fuck it. Let's let's send him with a magnitude. 
And I guess we'll hit him with one more. And he's done. Nice. <laughs> Just about at the cap. Didn't know any of these new magnitude. Wow. That would have been bad if uh, that panned out any different during this. All right. What do we know about takedown? Ooh. I think no takedown. And that would have been extremely tragic. I would have been so let down, honestly. Super let down. Um, but I'm thinking no takedown. Unless... Maybe focus energy instead. It should be keep focus energy for... I mean, that could be very useful in the Elite Four. I see no reason to take any damage. When we needn't... We needn't ever. Uh, yep, yeah, executive decision. Not learning it. We don't need it. Okay, so we will take Fireball 2. We will switch. Kraken has the EXP share, so it should be quick leveling up. Yeah, that's fair. It's all ass, no matter what. Yeah, try your best, buddy. Alright, yeah, we'll beat at level 29 in no time. We will be there in no time. At all. I thought it would flinch, the bastard. Bye bye, brother. Am I weak to anything Spoink has? Hopefully not, because I'm gonna, uh, Dragon Rage it. Oh, we're good. We are good. I didn't realize that the character has sideburns. I'm once again requesting you make use of Kraken's broken attack stat by using strength. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. You're right. Okay, that critical was just lucky. Ye old crit was not... Not the most likely, but we'll take it. Come on, encounter something, for Christ! Oh, for fuck. Back up we go. Well, we get to maybe see the hiker again. Well, at all, because we didn't see him the first time. Damn it. Absolute BS. <laughs> I 
Okay. Okay, so you see this Machop we've got here? So... We're just gonna take him and give him a little... Yeah. He gone. One thing I wish is that, like, you didn't get the animation for stat changes as well uh, when you turn off battle animations. I feel like that should go with it, but maybe that's just a personal opinion. Oh, we got a warm up the old turkey bag machine, boys. I'll take a take a bathroom break soon and then utilize that and then we'll pretty much be at the gym once I hit level 29. Yeah, that's true, that's true. That already got me in a hole once. So, maybe I shouldn't bitch. Touche, buttery. Touche. Almost there. Yeah, I'm like shaking in the seat. I really gotta piss now. That was a lot of liquor. Bye bye. Oh! I got cocky. Now, bye bye. Just like three or four more, and then I can finally go to the gym. At least we got a new mole this time. Oh, why did I use Dragon Rage? Doesn't affect me. Yeah, one or two more. Nice. Who said you could use Karate Chop on me, you little bitch? There it is. Plus three attack. They must have been given attack EVs. Ooh. Dude's attack stat is disgusting. Okay, so now we will take the item. And we will give it to... Uh, probably Slugma, bring it up a little bit. What do you think? Oh, Q-tip, you think? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Q-tip it is. Now, for good practice. Throw Fireball 2 to the front. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Slugma does suck, you're right. Just a placeholder for now. I still would like to train it up, eventually. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna save right here, hit the washroom real quick. Uh, and then we'll come back, hit a turkey bag, and then... Give her. You'd sacrifice him before Tentacool? Really? Oh wow, I am drunk. Don't really realize until I get out of the headset. Oh. I have caps lock on. Just one moment. Thanks. We're back in full effect. Whew. All right. Just give me one second here. Oh, I didn't throw the fucking thing on top of the old turkey bag baker. Oops. Pop some of this diet cran back real quick. Oh. That's borderline overstimulating for a drunk palate. Delicious, but a lot. Well, you guys ready for the gym? Just uh, a few more minutes and we'll be hitting her. Can't go in without a trusty old bag, that's for sure. About to get off the ferry, won't be much help in the gym, but I'm rooting for you. Well, hey, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And, uh, hey, I'm hoping we'll do well. <laughs> I, uh, I just gotta remember, so for Torkoal, we wanted to switch to Kraken, right? Or, I guess, let's, let's go over a game plan here real quick. So... Um, 
Oh. I was trying to read further ahead, but it wouldn't let me scroll further. That's one down the hatch. Uh. Numa will die to a camera up to magnitude. Okay, so how will Kraken do towards it? Should I even bother? No, because it's gonna it's gonna detect the magnitude immediately if there's a Numa. Or if there's a camera up, sorry. So Let's see, what's the order Larry's got? Um... Lead Numo switch to Kraken on camera. Okay. I will do that. Alright. Well, I think we're ready to get right into this. So. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's just make sure... Yeah, that's right. We're all healed up. <clears throat> We've got... Soft Sand on Numel. Kraken. Do we have any items for Kraken at all? I mean, ideally, we should throw something on him. Game up for Magnitude and then... Magnitude on that turn, so it's a free switch. Then I personally sacrifice Amon on Torkoal to gain momentum, switch Kraken back. Get the Intimidate off again. Good luck. Alright, well thank you very much, I appreciate that. I'm nervous, but... We'll get her. I guess if it gets burned... Oh, Jesus. What am I doing? Do I have an Oren Berry? Oh, I do. I'm stupid. Might as well, just in case, to ye old slugma. Actually, I guess to everybody. There we go. Now everybody is right, ready to go. So we are leading with our Numo. We've got Kraken on the side. And good old Cotton Swab fellow with the EXP share. I think we're ready. I think we're gonna do pretty well here. Let's see if I remember my way. Pretty sure I do.
Yep, that's her. I know it doesn't matter because we can't restart anyway, but I might as well just save here so if anything happens... Alright. Welcome. No way. Puny trainer, how good to see you've made it here. I've been encountered with the... No wait. I am Flannery and I'm the gym leader here. Uh, dare not underestimate me though. I have been leader only a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall uh, demonstrate the hot moves we have honed on this land. Okay, bet. Leader Flannery would like to battle. So we got a Newell in first. We're gonna hit it with a magnitude. Hopefully get a high roll. Nice. Okay, so that might be a kill. That's good. First one down. We've got a Slugma. We'll do the same thing. That might be a kill. Maybe not. Okay. Two down. Okay, so here's camera up. This is where we don't want to fuck around. So it's going to hit a magnitude. So if we... Hmm... That's what I'm thinking. Okay. I wasn't fully thinking there, but okay, so we'll use our attack to get a strength off. A tackle? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that's true. That would have been nice. This is where the tides turn. So is there a point where attraction wears off? I guess we'll just keep... Uh, waiting. I'm pretty sure it... it uh, fades out of... Existence soon. I don't think it's five turns, is it? I mean, we can take the tackles, so it's okay. I just don't want to. Are you sure it doesn't fade? I thought it did. Fuck. Okay, well that's not good. Hmm. Well, it's only likely to hit with a tackle, so whatever I switch in, I think it'll... It's not going to hit magnitude, so it'll tank it. So that's fine. Um... So we kind of care the least about Slugma. You think Q-tip? Why Q-tip? Do we even want to risk it? Why not swap to something we don't care about at all? Oh, because it'll try to magnitude the, uh, the slugma, won't it? Okay, so... Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so he's got the tackle off.
Oh wow. What do we want to do here? Only at 41 health. Surely it'll only see a tackle, right? Yeah, so it's, it fell two stages. Oh wait, it doesn't have magnitude. I didn't realize that. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, good to know. Well, should I just strength it or should I bite and chance the flinch? Well, if it's smart, it'll use attract. Well, we've kind of utilized Kraken for no reason then. Hmm, I've put myself in kind of a shitty situation. I'll try a bite. Hopefully it'll flinch. Okay, we're switching out. Should only use a tackle. Yeah, fuck, if I knew it didn't have magnitude, then I would have never switched. Sunny day, that's fine. Another magnitude will take it out. It just sucks, because now we have no fucking use of our Gyarados. Okay, is that even worth learning? Oh, safeguard's not a bad one, actually. What do we think? I think safeguard could be really useful in the future, but I don't know... Astonish could be really useful. I don't know about Fury Attack. Then Peck. Peck will get replaced anyway, but having a flying move would be nice. What do we think? Should I keep safe or uh, should I switch something for safeguard or I think I should keep it I just don't know whether I want to get rid of astonish or fury attack probably fury attack I think because at the least it hits twice which is 30 which is what astonish does anyway you think sing is too risky Oh, it's 55%. Yeah, that's fair, actually. Yeah, I'll agree. Okay. So we got Torkoal. Okay, so what is Torkoal's move set? Let's determine that for sure right now. If somebody can Google it, <laughs> just to be certain. Or I can Google it myself too. Cause let's see, let's look at our party and see what our options are. If it does have magnitude, it's gonna try to hit it now. Which would be a good time to switch into Kraken, get off the intim Intimidate. And then switch back. Okay. Let's, uh... Attract, Sunny Day, Body Slam, and Overheat. Okay. 
So what do we think it's going to want to hit here? I'm basically full health, so I think it... It'll probably want to hit Attract. It's not going to want to hit Overheat. Body Slam, perhaps? That kind of puts us in the danger zone anyway, though. And then I don't really know if it's worth it to try to get off the Intimidate. I mean, theoretically, we could... Oh, because it's a female. Fuck, I don't know. I genuinely really don't know what to do. I think we should try to get off a of magnitude, but that might not be the best idea. If it hits like magnitude 10, we'd win. But if it doesn't, we could get hit hard. Uh, I'm just gonna think of our options here, so. I don't think we're too much at risk right now. Okay, seven's good. It, she might heal, honestly. I think I should take another magnitude, personally, because should I outspeed? If I hit another magnitude and it's not like magnitude four, this is really fucking risky. Jeez. But I, I think... I personally... I think it's worth risking. I think she'll heal, but... Fuck it. No? That's a win. No, it's not. That's a loss. Yep, I knew we'd lose him there. Okay. That's a big loss for the future, but... That's okay, that's okay. We can still make this work. If we had a higher roll there, we would have won, so that kind of sucks, but... Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Then what do we do after the strength? We'll try. <laughs> Fuck. We're fucked.
We're totally fucked. I didn't think it did, but I guess so. A yawn could be really helpful right now. I could get off a yawn, a supersonic. I couldn't get off a supersonic, no. I guess I'd probably get attacked in both instances. But if I switch directly in, am I just going to lose it? Okay, I like that, yeah. Sack Tenta so I can get the first hit with the Yawn on Slugma. I'll still hit second though, won't I? Because it'll still outspeed my Slugma? Or am I wrong? Because I could Sack Tentacool. And then I'll send out Slugma and I'll hit Yawn, but Yawn should still be, like, it should still outspeed that. So if it outspeeds, and then hits. That's fair. At this point, I wouldn't, like, hate if we wiped, honestly. Uh, cause we got a pretty shitty setup. <laughs> um, we're gonna... What are we gonna do? What does Bottoms Up have? Uh, the confusion wouldn't be enough. Yeah, that's fair. That's a very fair statement. Nope. This is a wipe. I'm calling it. I am calling it. What's our smartest next move? Uh... <laughs> Good evening, Gibble. Happy to see you. Not at all, no. I think this is about to be a wipe, which luckily I got the Mickeys for. And if it is, then that's okay. But yeah, there's no way... Yeah, this is just gonna be... Mm. The only move is Gyarados. And Gyarados is gonna lose it. Yeah. We should outspeed. If we're we could be lucky and we might not get killed from a body slam. Let's just see what my just for the sake of my sanity. It's always 40 HP. Hmm. 
So isn't bite a better option, or does it does it resist bite? If you guys are recommending this, it must resist bite, right? But if it does, and it's yeah, well, that's fair. So we're thinking Dragon Rage because its special defense is lower than its defense. Okay, that's that's a fair statement. Two Dragon Rages could... It does 80 and it's chipped. Yeah, it's possible, but I can I get two off? Yeah, if I out... If I out speed, which I should, and it's next... Uh, oh, that's true, that's true. Yeah, Dragon Rage is just 40 no matter what. Okay, yeah, our only chance is to... Dragon Rage, not die from the next hit, Dragon Rage again, and win. Oh, no way, yeah, that's a dub. Okay. Well, now I don't know what to do. I kind of want to reset anyway. I did not deserve this. Oh. We got the badge, but at what fucking cost? It would have been fine if we didn't lose fucking Numel. Uh, I kind of preferred the wipe. I'll show myself out. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... I did not think we would win. That's three shots. Ew. I'm definitely getting out of Mickey for that and taking shots out of it, because... Three shots of tequila right now? Oh my god. I don't think my body can take it. I mean, that's the challenge, though, so that doesn't matter. Orin Berry? Alright, well, you all go to the dead box. Uh... No. Oh, it... No, 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 no. No. Okay, good. It's just the go goggles. I was gonna say, that'd be so bad. <laughs> See you again. Oh, we're not going back in there. We have no business in there. Well, here is where we decide. Do we... What are our encounters next? Should we reset? Or should we... Uh, literally, I got the go goggles on, dude. I don't need more. Alright, Firewall's dead. Um, who else was dead? Sailor Jones was dead. And then Slugma? Yeah. You can get Trey Pinch, Cacnea, Boltoy, Sandshrew. That's a shit team. But, I mean, at the same time, why go until we fail? Or why not go until we fail? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. 
Oh, that's a really genuinely hard decision. Because we've got... We've got the Gyarados, which is a really good Pokemon to have. Cotton Swab will be very useful. Yeah, I guess I could get a Water Encounter as well. And Spoink can be useful, eventually. Alright. Well, let's just look real quick, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe what I'll do is, uh... I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I genuinely, I'm, I'm, I'm at such a loss. I don't know what my best move is. I think... That I will go get one of my Mickeys. I'll take my three shots. We'll call it for now, and then I'll decide over the next week what I'm going to do. <laughs> I think that's best, so give me one sec. I'm going to go grab the bottle. And then I will be back in just a moment. This is tough. This is tough. Alright, so... <laughs> what I'm gonna do is because I need to take three shots um, and these are a little bit weaker than your normal, normal alcohol. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two double shots of this. So it's essentially four but essentially two at the same time. Depends on how you look at it, but I think that's gonna equate to three. If you guys think I should do something different, let me know. But otherwise, that's gonna be the move. This one is Lemonade. So, we can see that's filled right to the top. This is a two ounce glass. <laughs> All right, I, I, I think the math works out to some extent, depending on how you look at it. Um, so let's, just real quick, we'll take Slugma, toss him there, we have another Numel. And then, Oddish, get the fuck out of here. Swallow Blue Gyarados, and then we have a Spoink. We'll add in our Spoink real quick. <laughs> oh, spoink is... Let's go up here. Spoink is Gen 3. There it is. Save it as Spoink. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay, well, we get to see him annoyingly jump for the next little while. <laughs> but that's what we've got so far. Um, so that brings us to... 12, right? 12 deaths. <laughs> Is Flannery seriously only the fourth badge? That's only halfway. Oh, that's depressing. I didn't even really realize that. I thought that was the... Let me see here. Is it 13? Did I lose one before? Because Tentacool, I, I sacrificed there. So that was... In, in that battle, we lost Slugma. Oh, did I not have a Tentacool there? I never put that there. That's right. Jeez. So how many shots do I need to take? If... Now my brain's all messed up. I did not even consider that. Oof. That's fair. Okay, that makes a little more sense. So, I just need to throw Tentacool there. Gotta find the bastard here. There, go on, pop up. I see Tinta Tinta Cruel. There it is. Just literally adding it in to throw into the dead pile. <laughs> That's a bad pile, man. <laughs> That's a real bad one. So I guess just real quickly, we'll pop a save here too before I forget. Um, because that would not be ideal whatsoever. Okay, let's get these shots down. Here's one. If you're drinking with me, cheers. If not, lucky you. Down the hatch. Jeez, that's essentially half of it anyway. <laughs> One thing I didn't update too, what is our level cap now? Oh, and I didn't check either. That's... Nope. Yeah, that is four gems. True. Okay, didn't realize that. Oh, thank you very much, Gibble. I appreciate that. I, uh, I've actually got... So, 
one came off in the shower today, but I've got black with one blue. This was black. And then I've got blue with one black. So. I gotta fix that probably after stream. 31? Awesome, thank you. At least the level cap doesn't really change too much, I guess. I'm scared. There we go. That's a little more centered. Alright, guys. You know what the saying is already. Cheers. Um, remind me, did I update the shot count? <laughs> I don't recall. Um, doesn't look like I did. So we're calling that 28? Oh. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for the stream, <laughs> so I can take some time and I can figure out what I'm going to do, uh, whether I do want to reset, whether I do want to uh, continue on, I'll decide. I don't really know. I'm not too, too opposed to resetting. If I do, then I'll do a bonus stream before next, uh, next scheduled uh, Nuzlocke stream is. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make that decision. And, uh, I'll, I'll put a poll in the Discord too, so if you're not a member of the Discord already, uh, in the description here you'll find a link. If not, if you go to the main channel page, uh, there's a link set right there. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put a poll in tonight, and, uh, we'll let you all, uh, kind of just take your time and let me know whether or not we should restart. Uh, I feel like the resounding answer is probably going to be yes. Uh, and I don't blame you all for that. But yeah. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to go make some nachos while I get increasingly hammered as I do it. Because I don't think these have hit yet. And I'm sure they will soon. Um, but thanks so much for stopping in. Appreciate you, Gibble. Thanks for being here. Have a great night, y'all. Uh, might have a bonus stream Friday or Saturday. We'll see. I'd like to get some more shiny hunting in. Um, it depends, though. If I do decide to restart, then I might do that as the bonus stream. I don't know. But, you know, I think we still have potential for a little bit. Um, like I said, we'll, we'll have all this conversation in the Discord. Thanks so much for stopping by. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Have a fantastic night. Uh, means a lot for you tuning in, and we will see you next time. <laughs>